Hey guys, it's Kip Icon, and welcome to Kip Plays Hyper Light Drifter. This game is has been on my radar for a pretty long time now. Um, I just watched a video on this game. Uh, I think the video was put out by Vice. I love Vice. And um, apparently this game is made by somebody who has a congenital heart disease. And any moment, you know, he could die. And so what he wanted to do was create something that uh, he could be proud of before you know, in case, you know, God forbid, in case he did die. So, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at what a passion project like that can be. Um, I played a little bit of the beginning of this game just so I could get my controller working and, you know, have my recording set up, set up. But let's go ahead and begin a new game, shall we? You know... I don't know, I'm torn on this, right? Because on the channel, if I play... A more forgiving challenge, you know, I'll be able to get all the story beats in. Ah, forget it. Let's do standard. Let's do it. Oops. As I mentioned before, my name is Kip Icon. Dang, this controller works great! <laughs> I had a huge adventure trying to get these controllers working, and, uh,. In fact, it was so frustrating, I don't even want to talk about it. Alright, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say anything during this opening cutscene because it is beautiful and uh, you just gotta experience it for yourself. Here we go. Oh, 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 wow! My god, that right there... Mmm. I mean, really, several times I got goosebumps during that, and once I wanted to cry. That that right there is excellence in, uh, in pixel art, and excellence in 
intense. Uh oh. It's it's a uh, you know really really. Anyway, you saw it. <laughs> I love this pixel art. I love that little boat rocking over there. I love that it starts us out here. I love how much this game reminds me of A Link to the Past. I'm playing Breath of the Wild right now. In fact, you should all be lucky I'm taking... You should all feel lucky that I'm taking my time out from playing that game to play this, because... As anyone who's played Breath of the Wild knows, you know, at least for the first few months that you have it, it's like, it's hard not to just put all of your time into it. And I love, too, that to heal yourself in this game, you're injecting yourself with something. It just seems like the stakes are raised here, and it's a natural evolution, I think, to come from, to be inspired by something like... A Link to the Past, and take it in a much more dynamic and kind of adult direction. And here we go, we have our Light Drift, I mean, I'm assuming this is why it's called Hyper Light Drifter, is because you can zoom around like that. Dang. Did you see that skeleton over there? I really hecked that skeleton up good. Skeleton? No, 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 no. Skeletoff. So, I'm currently making a game right now, called Greenstream, and the demo has been released, and um, uh, I've been getting some really great feedback about it, but um, the finished game is going to be a lot different from the demo, which is why I'm not really touting it necessarily here, but, but anyway, what I love about this game is, you know, certainly to a, to a certain extent, uh, there's like a tile-based pixel art happening here, but it looks as if the tile-based pixel art has been gone over lovingly and pixel by pixel by the creators. Hey look, we got a gun! So that the so that it's not so obvious. Like the variation in the tile work is incredible. The variation in the hue, the variation in the lighting. It is just a masterpiece. Skeletoff. Skeleton? No. Skeletoff. Alright. Uh, aim... Oh yeah, this feels... The gun feels a little clunky, but I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. You know me, I'm used to playing... You know, retro... Indie... Oops, I did not mean to do that! <laughs> Don't waste those health packs, I will need them later. This is a notoriously kind of tough game. Um... Here's to hoping I'm I'm not a huge embarrassment to the hyper light drifter speedrunning community, although that's likely gonna happen. I don't think so, not today. If there's anything I've learned from the Legend of Zelda games, it's anything that moves your first uh uh, you know, your first intuition should be to slash them. And I love this, so so this society, this world that we're in, something horrible has happened here. It is, you know, this is after, clearly after the end to, uh, to use a TV tropes trope. And so far, from what I've seen, it doesn't really tell you explicitly what happened. You just have to kind of glean from the environment and glean from the characters, um what happened. It seems like it's very open to interpretation, but but we'll get to the bottom of it, I'm sure. I especially love that it follows in in line with Legend of Zelda games um, by having tons of secrets kind of hidden around every corner. I'm not really going to look for secrets in this first area because I don't think there are many. But certainly leave a comment if there's something important that I'm missing. Dang, this is excellent. Just excellent in pixel art, excellence in pixel art, excellent in game design. It just feels great. The combat feels great. The 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 light drifting feels great. I love that your character just coughs up blood from time to time. It makes you feel 
really disempowered and probably in a similar way uh, to the creator who has this congenital heart disease. Oh my. This can't be good. This can't be good. It wasn't good. Mm. I love the green lights in the trees and how everything else... It looks like everything else fades first and then the lights fade. Although that could just be because the saturation is so high on that green. I also love how there are all these like little things around this world that you can't interact with and you you don't really know what they are, right? Uh, but you know that, you know... It's, it's definitely, it fits into the world and it's part of the world. I love this too. I'm like, all right, so interact with something, let's interact with our weapon. What? What? How did I do this earlier? When I was testing this game out earlier, it, uh, maybe, do I have to shoot the mirror? Earlier, the mirror broke. What happened? All right, all right. Wow, that's kind of like, that's kind of, there we go, there we go. That's weird, you had to like hit it from an angle. I also love how you have to hold this button to pick things up and interact with certain objects in the environment. Feels more sci-fi. Anyway, all I was trying to say is like, I have no idea what this blue thing here does. Kind of looks like a 90s, uh, uh, you know, camera that they used to shoot live television shows with or something. Back is view map. Oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing! This looks just like a, a, a Legend of Zelda kind of game. Ah, oh, dang! Alright, 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 alright. Don't get too excited yet. It could... This, this could start to suck soon. Um, ooh, this area is all un this partially submerged. I think I want to do... I think I want to go there first. And then maybe I'll try going up the mountain. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. I hope that... Uh, what is this? Hope you guys are along for the ride and not expecting uh, too much greatness. <laughs> I'm, hopefully I'm not going to suck too much. If I super suck, I'll end up having to cut it out. Are there any secrets in this house? Like I said earlier, please let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything important. Look at this fantastic, this like moss covered relic here. I mean, that's really freaking impressive. Ah, it's a warp point. Can I warp just from right here? Ha. Now here's a good question. Does it auto-save whenever you warp? Yes, it does. All right, one piece of advice that I got is to t is to uh, always keep an eye out for the auto-save icon. You will need to do that, is what I've been told. And apparently I can make it happen by just warping, so all right. That seems doable. I hope it's not too uh, distracting me looking for secrets. The, the potential exists. You know what? I'm not really going to look for too many secrets right off the bat. I think I'm just going to stick to the critical path. And then maybe I'll do an episode of backtracking to find some hidden stuff. Aw, little dog. A, uh, a weird little dog. A, a very weird little dog. What's up? 
What's this now? Oh, this is, uh, this reminds me of the thing that we just saw in the house. We're supposed to find the pink triangle, the pink Doritos. Oh, I can't use my sword here. Oh, because I'm in the, the village or whatever. Okay. Good talk. Okay, really good talk. <laughs> What's in here? I know I'm supposed to follow the dog, but I know the dog went to the right, so... Ooh, you're a weird dog creature over there. I like it. Okay. So... It looks like... Is this to give me another health note or something? Um, I don't have the two yellow things it's asking for. Gosh dang it, look at all these amazing things in here that I want to destroy with my sword and yet I can't use it because I'm in town. I love his little, like, he has a little, like, head nod that happens when you try to use your sword in town. Hey, that dog is back. Hey, dog. Alright, it, it really wants me to go that way, but I just want to check out the town really fast just to see what's available to us. Oh, it's a nice little bird person. Oh, bombs. That seems really useful. So, I definitely want to get two of those yellow th What are they, supposed to be coins or something? To get, uh, to get the bombs, definitely. Oh. Oh, okay, it gives me more bullets for my gun. That's also two coins. Let's just call them what they are. Let's just call them Bitcoins. I remember during the whole Bitcoin craze. Gosh, I was trying to ask, you know, what a Bitcoin was. And I was told that a Bitcoin is worth like thousands of dollars. And I'm like, so how do you get one Bitcoin? And it was really confusing to me at first, so because they were kind of incomprehensible to me at the beginning, as is this currency in this game, the currency in this game is called Bitcoin. I also don't think that there's any text in this game except for like little bits of tutorial text that we saw at the beginning. Oh, look at this beautiful pixel art here. All right, so there is a person on a beach. Is this, uh, is this Death Stranding? Okay look like bad looking dudes. Okay, that person on the beach was the person who's down there with the... Oh. He's drinking that alcohol. Uh oh. Yeah, they definitely couldn't show something like this in Link to the Past. Dang. I'm sorry to hear that you've been beaten down by these people, but uh, ooh, I need a lot of whatever that is. A lot of keys? Um, but also, you know, don't blame your alcoholism on other people. Blame it on yourself. All right, let's uh, find out what else is in the village. We checked that out. Ooh, it's like a rat person. Oh, that's the pink person that saved us from the big black uh, monster at the beginning. Hmm. So that pink dude is a hero, it seems. I'm so used to playing games with keyboard and mouse and controller. Or, I have a keyboard and mouse that now that I'm playing it with a controller, it's like, this is revolutionary. Alright. Ooh, I need three bitcoins to get a huge sword swing. I mean, I feel like the swords... Oh, there was another person in there. I feel like the sword swing is pretty satisfying to use, actually, as is. So maybe bombs will be the first thing I want to get. All right, really happy I came back in to talk to you. All right, a couple of pixel cuties in there. All right, what's in this place? Okay. 
is that uh, is that maybe a double dash or does that increase my speed? A plus A. Yeah, because it seems like um oh what am I doing here? It seems like I can't really pre yeah, I don't have a double dash yet. There's a bit of a delay after you press the button for your second dash. Well, maybe that should be the first thing I get. I don't know, friends. I'm I'm up in the air. We're just going to see how many bitcoins I can acquire before we make that decision on what I'm going to uh what I'm going to get first. What's up? Yeah? Tell me all about it. Ooh, I like this red. Oh, I can use my sword again. Hey! That's right. If something appears on screen that you don't know what it is, destroy it. That's what The Legend of Zelda taught me. Gosh, this gun is so finicky. The aiming of this gun is so finicky. But it does the trick. Let's see what's down here. It looked like there was a secret. I should be dashing more often. So I'm gonna do that. Alright. Oh, we got a Bitcoin! Looks like they're not that hard to uh hard to find unless that was just um like a token easy to find Bitcoin. No 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 no. No 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 no. Please don't suck right off the back. Gosh dang it! I need to be kind of far away to hit that little platform. Okay. Alright, so a little finicky with the platforming, but as with any game, the more you play it, the, the more second nature it will become. This is my third, no, fourth month playing Breath of the Wild, and I just finally started uh, riding horses, so... Believe you me, I'll get better at this. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm loving all of these human remains littering the landscape. I mean, whatever happened here was bad. It looks like big weapons have been left behind. Oops. How was I supposed to know that was going to hurt me? Now, if I have three... Oh! That's what that health thing was. It'll allow me to carry another health pack. But I want to always have space for another health pack. Everyone told me how hard this game was, but I'm not really seeing it as difficult yet. That's the key, right? I mean, especially considering the fact that... Oh, what's over here? What's over... Nothing is over here. Mmm. Dang, this this is beautiful. Um Can I get over here? No. <laughs> I like how I told you I'm not really gonna look for secrets just yet, and I'm of course looking for secrets everywhere. Okay. This looks like a great place for a secret. And it is! Alright, now I can buy bombs. Right? Can I check my inventory? Um... Okay. Yeah, I have two. I don't know. I think I should get a better dash first. So I'm gonna wait until I have three bitcoins to go back to the village. Oh, I love these little hieroglyphics here. I mean, there's so much... Oh, did not mean to do that. There is so much uh, environmental storytelling in this game. And it's kind of what I've been learning from Breath of the Wild, is you don't need to overwhelm a character with story. You can tell the story of a people who have fallen uh, just by showing the environment, That's the, showing the uh, ramsackled things left behind. Ooh, that's a face only a mother could love. What is that? 
it looks like a frog with red hair and a crazy mask that only covers half of its face. And I guess that's where that frog is. Well, all right. And who are you exactly? Nobody knows. Really up for another Bitcoin so I can already improve my character. That's, you know, kind of super soon to- oh gosh. Dang, that's dark. You, uh... You carrying a corpse over to a pile of bodies, eh? Oh my gosh, this this is like a body, it's like a dead body beheaded and attached to some poles. Dang, well, right after saying so far this game hasn't been very hard, I f already am needing to use another health, health injectable. Is there a name for those? Health injectable sounds good, right? Aha, and this will be my third Bitcoin, which is exactly what I need. Oh, which is exactly what I need. All right, well, let's go ahead and call it an episode here. Um, off screen, I'm gonna go back to the village and use my Bitcoins to get that uh, faster dash, I think. And in the next episode of Kip Plays Hyper Light Drifter, we are gonna continue where we left off. So thanks a lot for watching. I have been and I will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you guys continue to what? Follow your drams. Bye.